All right, uh, today we're going to be talking about using zener diodes as voltage limiters or clipping circuits. Um, so let's say you have an Arduino and you want to measure a signal and you have this big, uh, this big signal out here and you just kind of want to measure its frequency or every, every time you see a pulse you want to you measure that pulse. But it could be 10 volts out here and your little Arduino can only handle 5 volts. Well, uh, you could put maybe a 1K resistor and a 4.7 volt Zener diode and use it as a voltage limiter, voltage clipper. So if any voltages are larger than 4.7, they get clipped down and the Arduino is saved from anything high. A lot of times you'll see these types of circuits, um, let's see, uh, on the inputs to, uh, to FETs, you'll have a... Uh, uh, some type of um, uh, high current FET or something, and you're worried about getting transient voltages onto the gate, and you put a Zener diode here to uh, to protect the input of the Zener diode. So sometimes you'll see it used that way as well. But uh, let's go ahead and look at this circuit. Let's hook one up. Uh, I have one uh, right here, and we're going to be taking. Let me move the camera a bit. All right, so this is the input uh, to the circuit. So this is what your waveform would look like that you're trying to measure. And it's plus or minus 10 volts. Plus 10, minus 10, plus 10, minus 10. So that's not good. Uh, so we're, gonna, uh, we're going to put it into this uh, little circuit here, uh, 1K and a 4.7. And uh, let's see what that does to the waveform. So boom, there we go. Uh, so now we're clipping to to 4.7, so uh, it's it's chopping off the top of the waveform. It's also chopping off the bottom of the waveform, if you've noticed. Um, the Zener diode will work in both directions, right? So if you get uh, negative voltages here, then it'll clamp it to 0.7 volts, negative 0.7 volts, and a positive, it'll clamp it to positive 4.7. So this should have an excursion between minus 0.7 and plus, uh, plus 4.7 plus 4.7, minus 0.7. And the Arduino will be perfectly happy with a signal like that. All right, let's take a look at this circuit. It's like the other one. The other one looked like that. But we're going to put another diode in here. So back-to-back -back Zener diodes. I think that one should be reversed, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> With the little legs on the... On, and it doesn't matter. It's a Zener Zener, okay? So in one direction, this one is forward conducted. So it's only 0.7 volts, and then it runs into this one. So it has to be 0.7 plus 4.7. And the other direction, it's the same way. It conducts through this one, and it's anyway. So it's it's five point. It should clip at plus 5.2 and minus 5.24. 5.4? Yeah, 5.4. Minus 5.4 and plus 5.4. All right. <laughs> so uh, here's the input. Let's take a look at the output. And look at that clip clip. There you go. It's doing a good, uh, it's doing the double clip. So uh, so that can come in handy. Hello, focus. There you go. All right, and I'll leave you with uh, one. Uh, what is it? Proof left to the student or extra credit? Do this on your own or whatever. You can have a, like a an inverting amplifier here, right? And so. Um, Let's see here, if we have uh, plus Vs over here, we have minus Vs over here times times gain, right? We have some gain in here. And let's say we want to limit the gain if the voltages start getting too big, okay? So if it starts getting too big, we'll start conducting in the uh, negative direction, right? We'll have, we'll have uh, too big of a negative thing here. And let's see here, what am I... What am I trying to draw? Uh, yeah. So if we have a, uh, a diode like this. All right. So uh, it is going to start conducting if you get too big of a negative voltage. We're using the Zener and backwards, remember? This way it would limit limits it to plus voltages, this way it would limit it to minus voltages. And um, what if we did this? Okay. So we have a two-step gain, right? 
we have gain one and gain two. This is this is a resistor one or resistor two, and this is the other resistor over here. But uh, when it's small voltages, it'll use this resistor, and it can be a big resistor, so maybe it has lots of gain. And then when the voltage gets too too big, too negative over here, uh, it'll start to conduct, and it'll go to the low the low uh, the low gain one. Anyway, there you go. So the uh, video today was all about using uh, Zener diodes as clipping circuits or voltage limiters.